So, I've had a Snapdragon Elite X laptop, the Samsung Galaxy 4 Edge, over the last few days. And I have to admit, I absolutely love it. It's been so great with an amazing battery life and no slowdowns, just like Apple Silicon with, say, an M3 MacBook Pro experience. So the big question is, just like the title of this video, am I switching to the dark side of Windows now forevermore and leaving Apple Silicon Journey alone and leaving Apple all together with all of their bits and pieces there? Well, the simple answer is yes I am and also no I'm not. And let me tell you why today. Now I'll be honest, when I got this Windows laptop, I just thought it was going to be another Windows laptop and it'll give you that boring average user experience that Windows laptops have done for many years to be fair. But then I began to realise this laptop is a bit more unique than the average Intel AMD laptop out there. The design of this laptop to start with is an all metal design and yes I know lots of premium Windows laptops out there are made in metal like this but this is where I'd say other big changes came along. First of all, I have hardly heard the fans kick in on this. This is normally a given with any Windows laptop like after even just turning it on. I think the only time I've actually heard the fans whirring and it was very, very quiet, very similar to like a MacBook Pro when its fans go on just a little bit was when I played Cyberpunk 2077 on it. And apart from this, using Word, Chrome and Outlook and day-to-day -day tasks, I've heard no noise from it whatsoever. And I think from this, this is where Windows and Snapdragon have learned some lessons here. Just like the M3 MacBook Pro we have here, and even the M2 and the M1 MacBook Pro with that horrible touch bar. The fans hardly came on in those machines, unless you really, really pushed it out. And it seems the same here for this Windows laptop we have here from Samsung. It is really, really quiet. And to be honest, even when I touched it, and even touching it now, it doesn't feel hot at all. It's not hot to the touch. And normally Windows laptops at the top round here, they normally start feeling quite warm and you can even hear the fans kicking in. And that is just not the case here whatsoever. It generally feels like that you do have, say, a MacBook Air on your lap or something like this and how lukewarm it gets with just doing day-to-day -day tasks on it. What also made me think this is a bit like a MacBook Air, for example, is that it's super light just to pick up. And I even got confused sometimes on my desk that I thought I was actually working on a MacBook Air. The keyboard and the touchpad are just perfect on this Samsung Galaxy Edge 4 and it's really easy to use. The keyboard has enough sort of press down on it and I really really like this keyboard. It's really nicely spaced out for my needs. But I think the biggest shock came to me yesterday when I decided to use this Windows laptop from 9am to around about 9pm and then I must admit probably in that time probably had about a three hour break but it's how much battery life this gave me. I didn't actually put it on charge once. And let me tell you actually what I did throughout that time from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. with obviously I did have a three hour break, but let me just tell you what I did. In that time, I was surfing the web with about 14 tabs open, or I would say probably about 10 to about 18 tabs open at one time, on average about 14. And then I was also answering around about 40 emails throughout the day. I also watched Batman The Dark Knight to check out the AMOLED display on this, and had my sound and brightness quite near the top. And this movie is like near like three hours long. I also played some classic Fallout 4 on this, what gave a fantastic good frame rate, by the way. I even wrote four scripts for upcoming videos and had more tabs open for that to write scripts. And even this script here for this video that you're watching right now, I wrote it near the end of that evening because I was so impressed with the battery life. And do you want to know what the crazy thing was? When I checked that battery life about 9 p.m., there was still 27% battery left on this. I'd used it for nine hours and there was still 27%. All those tasks I just said to you, it had that and it said I had around about three hours, 27 minutes battery left with that 27%. That is super impressive. I have never ever known a Windows laptop to go that far with its battery life and as you can see right here this is a super thin laptop too. Also the fact I'll just mention that even with 16 gigabytes of RAM it never got too hot like I said the fans never kicked in and it never stumbled either with like freezing or anything like that it was just working perfectly. 
And what I would also say is, is that Windows 11 for ARM is not fully polished yet, but yet I'm fully getting this experience. I think it may be in a year or two down the line, it's going to be even more well polished than what it is right now, but yet it's still great at the moment. This is when it got me thinking, one reason why I love Macs is because of their battery life. They don't stumble if you get the right RAM amount for your needs, and the software is really great too, and I have to admit, this ARM version of Windows 11 is really good too. Well, I could do this, but there is another option too, what today's sponsor is all about. So, Parallels is a good option, and I do like having that on a MacBook. But to be honest, if you know me well, you will know that I'm actually a fan of all technology, not just Apple bits and pieces. I absolutely love, say, Nintendo. I also love Sony and their Playstations. I also love, say, the Xbox. I also love Android phones too, funny enough, I'm going to admit it here. And I even love Windows PCs. And I am going to admit it, I do really love an ARM chip, or let's say the Snapdragon X Elite Windows laptop experience. It is really, really amazing. Like I already mentioned, I know it is very early days here, but it does remind me when the M1 Max came out the end of 2020, and it looked like it was gonna be a very bright future for Apple there. And it did actually become a super bright future for them and I see exactly the same here for Windows with so many pro apps that are looking to make it native on this version of Windows instead of just using Prism to convert the apps or x86 apps to work on this device they are working to make this even better and even make our battery lives even last longer and also to get even more performance out of the apps. One thing I'm also super excited about is ARM games development. So right now, obviously on this machine, it's using Prism to convert those games. But just imagine ARM-based games, what you could download on here, full AAA games. And that also is something what Apple has right now with a few games. And I think with that, this could encourage more games to be available on the Mac too, if more developers get on board to now make ARM games too on Windows. I have to admit those AI bits and pieces also help a lot too and I'm honestly going to say I'm looking forward to what comes in the future of AI on Windows. What I'm going to say is, as the future progresses, I think I'm going to try out more ARM-based Windows laptops, more AI laptops, Windows ones going forward, but also I'm going to stick with MacBooks too, because obviously the Apple Silicon journey is also getting really exciting now. We know that Apple Intelligence is coming out later on this year, and I'm really looking forward to seeing those AI features on here and also I would love to compare them to say Windows 11 and the Copilot Plus features too. So as much as I love Macs here and you know I am a Mac user and in the back of our heads and mine included too we go oh we hate Windows it's rubbish. I'm gonna have to do this. Well done Windows and Snapdragon. Fantastic effort. It is absolutely fantastic. So on that note I'm gonna keep both of these machines and I'm going to use the right machine for the right job when I need it. But on that note too guys, what are your thoughts? Have you guys bought yourself a Snapdragon Windows laptop? Are you going to even try one out? Because to be deadly honest, even if you are a massive Mac fan like I am, I would still try this out because I'm going to admit it is really, really good. But I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And also at the same time, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons like we've done today, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.